Hello all, here we go. This is uh, the, I guess, close to the end of the course. Just want to go over a couple things here. Um, for uh, 10 and 11, um, it, I know a lot of you have kind of wanted me to get away from the previous PowerPoints that were posted before I took this course over that seem to kind of just read right from the PowerPoint. So I'm replacing with the ones that I, uh, I created, the Ed Puzzle ones and the um, lecture specific ones. So I'm going to keep that uh, train going. You'll see here I have a lecture for chapter 10, which goes over the fundamentals of chapter 10. Um, you're not necessarily going to see anything under these. Um, I might add a um, an Ed Puzzle or two, but these are very, very specific um, things that you'll see under the Ed Puzzle lecture. So it doesn't make sense to do twice. What I do want to talk about is um, what this is, the PBL assignment. Um, if you click on this, uh, you'll see that basically what you're doing here is chapter 10 has five subsections. You're going to identify, excuse me, two learning objectives. Of course, I get the hiccups for each section. Um, and therefore, that's 10 objectives. Uh, and then from that point, um, you're going to provide a narrative to each of the objectives. And then from that, um, you'll see that the so to just give you an example of uh, what it would look like, this is one I did from Chapter 9. Um, and I put this under here. Let's hope that loads up. All right. Um, so you can see here I just made one up. Uh, no, Doji Cat was not in my class, but uh, that'd be cool if she was. Uh, so you can see here basically what I did for the first uh, subsection 9.1. Um, this was the subsection, the learning objective was this and my answer to it was that and the reason I'm doing that is that is very well aligned with what is on the third exam um, and a lot of you have said you really appreciate that my exam reviews reflected the actual exam um, that is uh, going to help you big time on this last exam so that would be just what you would do for for example 10.1 you would then repeat it for 10.2 10.3 get the idea and any references of course I need those that would make sense so um, that is part one. Also, don't forget that another thing to just do in your uh, syllabus is a case study assignment. Um, not terribly difficult, uh, but it is, it is what it is. So in this case, you're going to go ahead and um, review the attached case study, answer the questions in the narrative, um, and then from that point, you can upload them. Of course, this is the teacher view, so it looks a little different than yours. Um, so that's another thing to do. And I also, if you look under, um, let me just kind of pause this so you can see what I did. Also, uh, notice under discussions, I also fixed discussion nine. I had to redo the whole thing. I have no idea why it wasn't there before. Um, so it has a link to it. Again, for those of you that emailed me the answer, just go ahead and don't worry about it. You're done. I'll grade that by hand. For those of you who haven't done it yet, I made the... Um, the due date on this, uh, the end of the course. So that's uh, kind of where we are. And one last thing I want to kind of go over this last exam. Let me look, pull up the syllabus real quick. Uh, so you'll see here that obviously this exam is only for two chapters because we only have basically a week left. Um, so you have your PBL assignment for 10 and 11. Uh, in the case study, those assignments are going to help you directly with um, this particular exam. And once again, please make sure you check out the uh, uh, exam review. I'm also going to include a couple exam questions in this video in a minute or two and this will serve as kind of the last one. Um, I also want to say please go ahead and fill out the survey that I sent. Um, anything I can do to help you guys before the course is over if there's something else you want to see. Some of you have answered already. It's been very very helpful. Um, I'm trying to make this course as user-friendly as I possibly can. So um, these are your last three things you have to do. PBL 10, PBL 11, case study um, all due at the third uh, and then you ex your exam you can take on the fourth or the fifth and then you are finished the um, the course so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to open up a uh, video that you um, might not be able to see yet hopefully you will um, it's a video I made about the exam already uh, and so that's the exam three review video it's about five minutes long I go through um, the bulk of the study guide as well as some ex a, a few exemplar questions as well. Um, so uh, you can go ahead and watch that particular video. 
Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know.